Hey there! Welcome to the 23rd Easy JavaScript tutorial part of EasyProgramming.net. In this tutorial, we'll begin looking at loops by covering the for loop. If you haven't already, I recommend that you watch my for loop tutorial in C++. You can find the link in the description below. It's an old tutorial, but it's still relevant because the syntax of the for loop in C++ is exactly the same as JavaScript. So let's dive into it. So loops in general execute the same piece of code over and over again, often with a different value. The for loop allows you to specify a starting point and an ending point, as well as increment and decremental values. So the, uh, the syntax of the for loop looks something like this. You start out with the keyword for, and in parentheses, you'd put in a starting statement, an ending condition statement, and an increment and decrement value. And in curly braces, you put in the code block that needs to be executed. So in our example here, we're going to count from 0 through 9, or 1 through 10, if you will, and let's start. So for var i equals to 0, so the starting statement is that we're going to start off at 0, and then our ending statement, we're going to say i is less than 10. So it's actually going to count from 0 through 9, not 1 through 10. Remember that everything in programming is 0 indexed, so, and after the loop is executed every time, we're going to, whoops, we're going to increment it by 1. So remember, plus plus is the incremental uh, operator. So in curly braces, we'll do Let's do something simple with the console.log. Uh, we are at number i. So we're so every time the loop goes through, the value of i is going to change because of the third statement right here. So let's update and run. And in our console, we have from 0 through 9. Uh, if you want to count from 1 through 10, you can do you know start i at 1. You can also do i is less than or equal to 10 and we do 1 through 10. It doesn't always have to be incremental, you can do decremental as well. Let's say you want to start off at 10 and then go until 1. So we'll do as long as i is less than, greater than 0, we'll do i minus minus. Update, Let's clear the console, run, it starts with 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's do one more where we're going to output it into the into our DOM. So we'll do 4 var i equals to 0. Uh, again, we're declaring uh, i again as, an, as a variable because these are local variables. Even though I'm declaring it up here, I cannot use it down here. You need to declare it again. So we'll do i is less than 10 and i plus plus. We're doing the same thing but in the DOM. So, whoops. So we'll do document dot get element by ID output dot inner HTML concatenate I and then we'll also concatenate a uh, little line break. Pretty straightforward. We'll run it. There you go. Goes from zero through nine. It doesn't always have to go up by one or down by one. We can also do something like this. Let's do this. I from zero through fifty and I equals to I plus 5. So it'll actually output uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, blah, blah, blah. It'll increment by 5. We'll do this. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, etc. all the way up until 45. If I do less than or equal to, then we'll get that 50. It's pretty straightforward, right? I would recommend that you play around with the for loop, do different things. You can do more than just you know output the value of i. Uh, also check out the W3Schools link here. Uh, to read more about it and always check out easyprogramming.net. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Come back for my next tutorial where I'll, where I'll be covering the while loop as well as the do while loop and then the for each loop later on. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good one.